So I think I read somewhere that Aram was a member of an Armenian nationalist group and had a plot to kill Sultan Abdul Hamid II with a homemade bomb. And I read that the story- 100% true. Avidus III's father, Hiroshian, he was like attorney general in Turkey. So he didn't want to get in, involved in, in symbol making any way, any way, shape or form. Because it's not like what we see today as a, as a real, you know, self-sustaining business. So um, Aram and his partners in crime, they had gone to Bucharest and found a carriage maker. And they had the carriage maker make an identical version of the Sultan's carriage. And then Aram and his friends, they bribed the Janissary guards, like the Sultan's secret service, to have them switch the carriages outside of the mosque. So they had this like Gilganite bomb with a fuse. And the Sultan went in to pray, and you know, the bomb went off before he came back in. So the plan was he was gonna get in the carriage and they were gonna assassinate him. So how did they find out it was it was Aram and his friends? Well, the carriage maker that they hired to build this replica put a tag on it made by, you know, so-and-so carriage makers in Bucharest, Romania. So word got out that the Janissary guards that weren't part of the plot found this tag from the carriage and they started to go looking for the guys. And the great thing is it's not like today where, you know, Everybody's being tracked with their phones and their cars. Aram had time to get out of out of Dodge. He went to Bucharest and he set up shop there for, and, and I say this kind of in a facetious, funny way, you know, for about 45 minutes, because he, he made very few symbols there. But if you find one that says A period Zildjian and CIE, Bucharest, they're extremely rare. 